Hello, everyone, and welcome to iRed to bring you your daily dose of the internet for Thursday, May 18th, 2017. I'm Michael Schwann. And I'm Nathan Wood. Please remember, everyone, you can help support our show by going to patreon.com slash daily internet if you'd like to help support us financially, help us grow the show. Otherwise, though, Nathan, how are you doing today? Eh, meh, not bad. It was an average day. Yeah, I just did a bunch of, like, copy requests in the back. It was pretty good. And tomorrow, you only have to work four hours. It's true, and it's really great. I'm excited. Yeah, I bet. That, that would mm -hmm. be, dude, that would be the easiest, like, four hours ever in terms of work. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty great, um, and I'm the early shift, so I get to leave 30 minutes before most of my colleagues. Cool. Yeah, at noon, but I might take a couple hours extra so that I could, you know, get get a little overtime or comp time or whatever. Are you able to? Like, can not overtime. I'm able to get comp time. I will be able to get overtime on weekdays that aren't Friday. Okay, but you can. Can you stay later on Friday? Uh, I talked it out with my boss, and yes, but it would be for comp time, not overtime. Okay, so is comp time just, like, extra leave for you? Is that what that is? Essentially, yeah. Okay. Cause Which I, would be, you know, cool. Because I, I, I don't know how your guys' payroll is set up, because ours... Because as state employees, we only work 37.5 hours a week, um, and we are able to work an extra two and a half hours before we are technically being paid overtime because we haven't hit 40 hours a week yet. And so if you want, those extra two and a half are pretty open if you want to try to get them in some way or another. But right now with the budget, we're not allowed to go over 40 a week. Understandable. So like for yeah, me... Yeah, a, a lot of places have like really strict... Uh, um, Overtime laws, not, not laws, uh, policies. Right. Well, I mean, overtime's expensive. It is. It's understandable. I mean, you go from being 18 an hour to 27 an hour, and that's a pretty considerable difference. Dude, I used to get so much overtime at Bosco's. Yeah, but see, the difference there at Bosco's is you went from 8 an hour to 12 an hour. <laughs> yeah. Like, those, are ve those numbers are significantly closer together. God. Starting starting work at 775 is so demoralizing. Dude, when I first got my first job, it was 650. That's and, brutal. And then it within like 3 months of me getting my first job at Brahms, it went up to 725, and then I fought my ass off to get a raise up to 850, and then minimum wage in Oklahoma went up to like 825, and I was like, "Well, fuck, cuz I didn't make more money. I still made the same." And, shit. and all of the prices in our store went up to compensate for the increased minimum wage. So I was like, I'm just making less money in comparison now. That the is literally the worst business deal. Yep, it, it was really shitty. Although, it, it, real quick side story, it, it was funny because at that job I had to drive 30 minutes to get to work because I lived out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, Oklahoma, and had to drive 30 minutes to get to the only civilization where there were jobs to be had. And mm -hmm. I got in an accident with, my, with one of my good friends at the time, Max, and I called work and I was like, hey, I got in an accident, my car is wrecked, I am not going to be able to make it into work today. And Casey was like, oh, well, Casey was the, the manager's name. And he was like, oh, damn, dude, that, that really sucks. Um, well, I'll send someone to come get you. And I was like, oh, what? He's like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just, he's like, I'll just send someone on a short break and they can come get you and bring you back. And I was like, uh, oh, okay, I mean, if you want, I guess, here's my address. And he's like, okay, cool. And then, so, my other friend at the time, Marshall... Casey is like, hey, you know where Michael is, right? Yeah, go get him. And Marshall, who drove this big old honking friggin' diesel Ford F-150 with these, like, 24-inch chromed-out wheels, was like, um, are you, are you giving me gas money? And he's like, why would I need to give you gas money? He's like, oh, you can stay on the clock. Just go get him. And he's like, oh, no, 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 Casey, I don't think you understand. It, it will cost me, like, $30 to go get him. And he's like, wait, wait. Are, are you playing me right now? Are you just trying to squeeze some money on me? He's like, do, do you know where Michael lives? He's like, well, doesn't he just live like somewhere nearby? No, no, he he lives 30 minutes away. He has to travel a half hour just to get here to work for these shit-ass wages. And he's like, oh, I didn't that know not, that. 
It's and, not okay. Yeah, and he's like, so you're not going to go get it? He's like, not unless you're giving me like 50 bucks because it'll take me an entire tank to get out there and back because I my truck is not getting mileage efficient. And so, oh, speaking of, Ashley Marsh just joined the chat room. She was one of my managers at the time. Hello, Ashley. And yeah, so Marsh was like, I don't not, see that. Well, that's fine. She probably don't see it because she's not on your friends list. Just like sometimes you see people join that I don't see because they're not on my friends list. Like, like I never Armon. I never see Kendall join. She just shows up, but she's not on my friends list. Oh, Kendall Kendall it says Kendall's in. Well, I didn't see that. So Kendall are, are you here? Yeah, well, maybe. I don't know. Either way, so yeah, they were, he, Kendall Marshall are was you just like, um listening? no. In case he had, I am lost and so alone. I had told him so many times up to that point, and it's one of the reasons that I fought for a raise because of gas. I'm asking for your guidance. You Would okay? you come down from your throne? Are you, are you okay? I need a tie compadre that'll teach me how to rock. My father thinks you're evil, but man, he can suck a cock. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to finish that, actually. Okay. Um, well, th that's a good way to derail a story. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, anyway, uh, let's go on. Ten. Car hits pedestrians in New York City's Times Square. This was submitted by S Saucy Tryhard to our news. Don't laugh, don't laugh. Saucy Tryhard. <laughs> I'll laugh for you. <laughs> wait, 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 hang on. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, although this is not something that this is that instead this is very much a you make uh, me is, sad uh, because a drunk driver plowed through the pedestrian sections of New York City's Times Square um, killing one 18 year old woman severely injuring seven others including a 13 year old girl and putting several of them into the hospital as wearing as well as incurring minor injuries on about 14 other people oh now, initially, people are like, terrorists, terrorists, because, I mean, the terrorists have done this before. Um, no, th this is just a, a drunk asshole. 26-year-old um, dude who, he's a, a free Navy veteran and has had two DWIs in the past and was drunk again. It was like, I'm going to go this way. It's real unfortunate. Yeah. So, um... You're a shitty person, and you killed someone, and I hope you go to jail for manslaughter. And wounded 22 others? Yeah, 21 others. Which is, no, it's 22, right? I, well, I, th I think it was 22 total injuries, one of which was a fatality. Either way, uh -huh. uh, you know. That's a lot. Go, go the fuck to jail, and uh, feel bad about yourself for the rest of your life. He's probably going to. I don't know. Maybe. I, I, I hope so. I hope he has some level of remorse for this. Like, you, you, you killed someone. You he killed, killed this 18-year-old woman and then left her 13-year-old sister in the hospital. That's why you don't drink and drive. Like, you suck. Seriously. Anyway, I'm done with this. Moving on. All right, sweet. Something else that's Nine. Good. No, this is actually good. China is... Uh, wait, wait. Uh, put it... Uh, why isn't it... Why, why, why are you not doing the thing? Why are you not putting the text in the box and the things for the people that are watching us on live on Facebook? Don't worry. That's not the only problem going on. You're, like, cutting in and out for me because of my headphones. That's a problem for you. Anyway, China is set to ban dog meat at the notorious Yulin Festival. How is this uplifting news? This is submitted by Mayor R to our uplifting news. Dog do you meat's eat, delicious. Do you eat dog often? No, actually, I've never had dog meat. I've had horse, though. Horse is good. Horse is good. I can agree with that. Anyway, though, um, China is wanting to break its bad image of eating dogs and cats. Doggy eaters? Yeah. And one of the biggest places where that happens is the Yulin Festival. The Yulin Festival originally started in 2010. It was started by traders. Traitor! Um, traitors! <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. We need that. Uh, the fucking Traitor. TR eight R, uh, sound bite. We need that. We need that. Okay. I, okay. 
Okay, noted. We'll have to get that later. Anyway, so it was started in 2010 by a bunch of traders in hopes to boost sales. It ended up, it, it still is that on the surface, but it's a place where a bunch of people trade and sell and eat animals, primarily dogs and cats. And China is wanting to get away from this because they're the only country really that still does this. And it gives them a lot of really bad PR, especially because an estimated 10 million dogs and 4 million cats are killed and eaten each year. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Those those kinds of animals are more of our friends and not supposed to be food. Well, and also like See, it's where you blur the line like goats. That's that's real fucking hard, you know. Goats are awesome and adorable and sweet. Like here's and the thing. Tasty as a motherfucker. Here, for me though, you could probably I don't I don't know. Like can you sit there? Can you honestly sit there and go to a petting zoo and play with this nice baby lamb? And then later get served a plate of lamb. I don't know if I've ever had lamb. It's really good. I mostly eat cows, pigs, and chickens. That's fine, but lamb is really good. I don't know. For 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 me, for the most part, a... like All right, what about rabbits or squirrels? I have not eaten either of those. I've had snake. Snake's tasty. Have you had crocodile? No. I've had alligator. I've also had shark and cactus. Uh, Kendall says they, that they could pet a lamb and then eat the lamb. Yeah, that's my kind of individual right there. We need more people like you on this earth. Well, I mean, when, when I was young, my mom used to work at a dairy farm, and I'd go to the dairy farm and help with, you know, just help my mom. And there was cows that, you know, you, you like, cows are very... They were your best friends. They're such sweet animals. They're like giant puppies that don't understand how big they are because they want to lay on your lap. don't understand they're going to get eaten. Well, and yeah, and like... It, it, if, if I don't, like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if I could eat, like, the family dog. But, like, I got real attached to some of these cows. And then, like, a few months later, Mom's like, oh, yeah, this is Bessie. And I'm like, oh. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's... And that's all right. Uh, I, Kendall guess, said I guess those... I've done that with chickens. Kendall oh, did Kendall say, though, did... that they raised chickens and couldn't eat them because they bonded. Oh, see, I've I've eaten chickens. Oh, th okay, so I think there might... just has to be this level of disconnect. Mm -hmm. It's it's hard forming emotional bonds with animals. That's why you cry when you cut open onions. Like I, I don't know. Like maybe if you if I didn't, I don't know. I don't I don't want to eat a dog. I love dogs way too much. I mean, if someone fed me a dog, I wouldn't complain. Just shoves a puppy in your mouth. Well, I mean, like, as long as they didn't tell me it was dog. Yeah, and, like, if, if it was that case, I, I would probably eat it without a second thought. And then they could be like, you just ate dog. And I'd be like, fuck. Sad. Well. I have eaten a soul. Wait. Are you saying that, like, cows don't have souls? Yeah. Oh, exactly dude, I, I, I remember in, like, junior high or middle school, or those are the same damn thing, or high school, one of those at some point. <laughs> junior high or middle school, I'm not sure which one. <laughs> um, I, w I, I went on this goddamn tirade, because I, I grew up in Oklahoma, which is the fucking buckle to the goddamn Bible belt, and so there's some fucking Bible thumping all day long, right? And... I remember getting into this massive, like, two-and-a-half-hour heated argument because, like, in, also in Oklahoma, there's lots of farmers and lots of farmer boys and stuff like that. And, like, these Bible thumping. And you got, and yeah, yeah, and you started thumping those, those boys, right? <laughs> yeah, thumping those boys. <laughs> but no, because, like, I, 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 I don't remember the exact context, but we were arguing whether animals had souls or not because apparently, according to some-ass fucking pages in the Bible, animals don't have souls. Yeah, they don't. And they're just there to serve humans. And I'm like... By that logic, angels are kind of like animals, too. I'm just, it, it baffled me. I was like, you are some horrible human beings. They're like, no, well, this is the way that God intended. And I'm like, God's a horrible human being. The people who wrote that also own slaves, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. The truth comes out. Okay. Anyway, um, gotta get better at these transitions. Eight. Uh, oh, hold up. What? Are without context. If you own a slave, is it livestock? 
Um, I'm sure it was considered such at one point in time. Were you able to consume your livestock? Dude, I don't know. Anyway, cyclist celebrates stage win a lap early. Goes on to finish 148th. This was submitted by Dade Pool to R, not the Onion. Yeah, you, this is why they tell you. That's to... so embarrassing. Yep. So Luca Pibernick. Ah, oh, god damn, your name is Luca Pibernick. <laughs> Hold up, is it really? Pibernick? I don't know. First name's definitely Pibernick. Luca. Last name is spelled P I B E R N I K. Pibernick. 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 Whatever. Either way, don't care. You gotta uh, roll the R. Pibernick. He's a Slovenian cyclist, and he thought that he heard a bell, and he thought that was the done. Nope, that was a bell letting them know they had one more 6.8 kilometer stretch to go, and so he's like, "I'm in the front. I'm celebrating." Yeah, and gets off of his bike because he thinks he's done. And everyone just rides going. right past him. They just kept going. He's oh, That's so embarrassing. He will never forget. He was never living that down. Especially because he probably could have just, you know, went those last, you know, few kilometers and won. Oh, easily. Easily. Well, okay. Yeah, sure. I guess it would, it would be kilometers. Very bad with the metric system. Yeah. It's so easy, though. But... Yeah, there was still one more lap to go, and, uh, well... How long is their laps? 6.2 kilometers. That isn't even a fucking 10-kilometer egg. N no, no, it's not, Nathan. You could, you could totally hatch your 5k eggs, though. Also, like, I mean, if we're gonna get into that, like, realistically, at the speed that these cyclists are cycling, it wouldn't let you even get progress on an egg in Pokemon <laughs> That's right, Go. it'll wrench it. I'm a passenger, damn it! I'm a passenger! Like, you're gonna be cycling at 25 miles per hour, and they're gonna be like, uh, you're going too fast, sir. You need to, uh, you're not allowed to cheat with a car. And it's like, motherfucker, I'm on a bike! <laughs> I wonder if you're allowed to listen to music as a cyclist, and how many people have listened to the Pokemon bicycle theme. I don't know. I hope at least one. I, I mean, I'm sure there. I'm sure there's been at least one. Like not. Kendall, you're getting a second serenade. I guess that's it. All right. Seven. Net neutrality goes down in flames as FCC votes to kill Title II rules. This was submitted by Specs to our politics. Um, but they're not letting it go down without a fight, though, is one thing that I want to state there. So this isn't to say that the rules are done and gone and over with and stuff like that. It is just that they voted 2-1 to one to begin the deconstruction and rollback process of the rules instituted in 2015. Um, those are the Title II rules that say that ISPs are not allowed to throttle or choose favorites in terms of the internet. So they can't, like, make business deals to let one person get good internet and one person get shitty internet based on those domains. Now... They're looking at rolling that back, but this is not official yet. Be sure to still keep the fight going. Because goddamn. Goddamn. But they have voted to start the process. And part of it, they will... I mean, they can't just literally just remove Title II. They have to replace it with something. But the idea is that they're going to replace it with something that is shitty for the consumer. Because they're, they're fucking bought. Yeah. Easily, 100%. Now, the Democrats in both the House and the Senate have said that they're not going to let this go easy because they definitely agree because at this point, goddamn, there is really only right or left at this point. You are either agreeing with stuff or disagreeing with stuff. No, like, well, let's talk about it. It's either hell yes or fuck no. And those are your only options. That's... And, mm, and right really now... I how we have this, like bias towards our own party you know well yeah like right now I, I i mean maybe because we're reporting on it and stuff and have been for you know over a year that it seems so much more apparent that people are just like if it's not my party then fuck no or is that with my party fuck yes like that i mean seriously did you like i mean we it's, are... it's essentially a, a game of football you know yeah well and also a lot of the times like i they even admit that most of the time they don't even read the damn shit it's like is it republican cool sign off on it but 
it looks as though currently the course of action is going to be rollback of Title II, which means be careful with your internet stuff because and monitor them closely because uh, one of the other things that are protected under Title II is that they're not allowed to do like random and strange hidden fees or just fees because they feel like it. So what that means is when this rolls back, expect your internet to go up and also expect to start to see weird shit going on like Hulu not running very well, but Netflix running amazing and that'll probably because netflix has signed a deal with your internet service provider that says that they get good internet and hulu said fuck you and they went cool then we'll just throttle you because we don't have to follow those rules anymore welcome to uh non-net neutrality internet we 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 don't have to worry about that right gci has given us their word uh gci has been bought by a colorado company so anything that gci of a year ago said means diddly shit now i had no idea actually <laughs> No? But I, I didn't realize. Yeah, GCI is no longer Alaska-owned. They were bought by a company in Colorado. That's shitty. Mm-hmm. It sure is. Damn. Like, we're making all this progress in so many other areas, but the internet's just rolling back five years. All right, so, like, as an internet service provider from Colorado and an internet service provider from Alaska, would they... Like, how, how how does the, I, I don't know, I guess there is no laws against, um, drug laws are interesting. Okay. I'm trying to figure out if you're allowed to discuss as well as um, swap goods online in legal states. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Because if they do, then the internet service provider should feature that, and they should have a thing called, like, like dubs and dongs, where they give you a free dub if you watch enough uh, gay porn. What? Yeah. I'm just, I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. Six. Sure. India canceling huge coal power station because it wants to focus on renewable energy. This was submitted by Specs to Our Futurology. This guy's fucking everywhere. Why the fuck can't I resize? Nothing but specs today. Damn it. This thing is just not wanting to resize the way that I want it to resize. It's just fucking stupid. Anyway. So, yeah. They were set to build one of the biggest coal power plants in the world. They are called... What the fuck are they called? 4,000 megawatt ultra mega power project. <laughs> That's been canceled. And they're instead wanting to focus on renewable energy because they want to become a solar power leader by 2030. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Good on you, India. Keep being progressive. We like that. Yeah, let's just, you know, let's be progressive for everyone in your economy. Yeah. Well, one step at a time, Nathan. Yeah. Five. House Majority Leader to colleagues in 2016. Quote, I think Putin pays Trump. This was submitted. It's gone. Well, you know what? Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but by probably specs, let's be real. So it's world politics, right? Yeah. World sure. news. No, maybe not world politics. World news. Or uh, politics. Maybe just politics in general. I don't know. Anyway, don't... so... The, the Washington Post apparently got a hold of this recording, and this recording is between uh, Speaker of the House Paul Ryan, friggin' House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy, and two other fucks who I don't remember. Um, and the, the main thing is because it was the com main conversation was between McCarthy and Ryan. And there's some fucks. Is, is really the best way to get at it here. There's it, some fucks. You, yeah, like, I understand that people say a lot of different things behind closed doors, but holy jeez. Like, these guys like dickheads, assholes? Well, I mean, this is six months before the election. So, mm -hmm. you know, before anything happened or anything like that. And they were talking about how crazy and maniacal Trump is and how crazy Russia is. And then McCarthy says, you know what? I bet... Uh, Putin pays two people, this other, uh, Rohrabacher and Trump. And then they were talking about how they were talking about the Russians meddling around with the DNC hack. And they were saying that they're 100% certain that the Russians did hack the DNC and got the opposition research that they had on Trump. And yeah, and it just feels bad feels bad man like this like, if you knew these things or had suspicion of these things you should 
th these are things that should have been brought to light. And but then it goes even farther than that. Paul Ryan has said, okay, right, all of this is off the record, and everyone laughed at that. And then he's like, see, this is what's nice. This is a family. We're close knit. Just remember that anything talked about in the family stays in the family. What Fuck is it. this the fucking mob? I guess so. Okay, so someone on Reddit explained this quagmire this political quagmire in a great way and it was in a term it was uh they described it as a a oh god what is it a cold civil war sure i can see how they they would say that i i can see where they're coming from on that one yeah i think there's another word in there but i don't remember what it was Well, and like here here's what made it even worse, right? Is that the, the the press person for Speaker of the House Paul Ryan was like, "No, that conversation never happened. You guys you, you guys don't know what you're talking about." And then the Washington Post went, "You want to go with that? We have audio recording. We have proof that we have not released yet." And immediately they're like, "Well, you know, those are just jokes that are had behind closed doors when everyone's <laughs> just having a good time." And it's like, "You have any idea how bad that looks when someone's like, "Hey, look, these guys said something." They're like, "No, we didn't say that. We have evidence." Oh, well, those were jokes. Like, like that evidence? We didn't realize you were talking about that time. Oh, I we thought you meant 2014. Yeah, whoops. Our, no, that was just a joke. They yeah, were guys. just kidding. Ha ha ha, cool. I guess. Like, I mean, grab... if, you, if you have that recording, you heard all the laughter, right? Laugh track. That's a fine <laughs> how do you do. Too many cooks will spoil the bro. I watched that fucking video. What the fuck? Did you watch the entire thing? Yes. What yes! the fuck? Ah. Like, I watched it for like okay. a minute and a half, and then I was like, does it just keep doing this? Like, is Man. this just like, initially I was like, is this just a seven minute long sitcom it's intro? 11. And then it got fucking weird. It was an 11 minute long. If you go back and watch it again, you can, before he pops up, pop the murderer several times in a couple frames. Nope, I'm good. Anyway. It's, it's pretty crazy. Anyways, um, uh, alright, imagine you sitting there at home. Okay, you're gonna have to really use your imagination. Imagine you sitting there at home either... Okay. Drunk, like, completely drunk, high as fuck, or, or sitting there on acid or something, right? Well, I, I have been one of those things. I'll leave it right. up to you to guess. I... I don't have to guess. I already know. <laughs> uh, anyways, just sit there and just imagine for a second. Maybe even an acid trip, right? I have You're no sitting idea there watching like. Adult Swim at 3 a.m., okay. 2 a.m., whatever. Sure. And suddenly, without any prior knowledge of it going to happen, no one had talked about it. This just dropping. I I would I I would be scared. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude if that if i had watched that and it was on acid i would have immediately freaked the fuck out especially when he started eating people yep all right well you know again i'm gonna pretend you didn't say that and move on to Four. the next thing billionaire gives away some of his fortune to help save the ocean this was submitted by maxwell hill to our world news Yep, so what, what, what uh, a norwegian businessman kjell inge rook is going to I be what? Did you pronounce that correctly? I don't know. I'm, I fucking tried. Kjell Inge Ruke. Oh, okay. I, I got close. Roke? Roke? Ruk? I, I said Rolk. I, tr I tried. I got close. Anyway, he is going to be giving away the lion's share, whatever the fuck that means, of his $2.7 billion fortune that is all going to be going towards a boat. Now... I could, it sounds bad, but this is going to be a REV, a research expedition vessel, which is going to be a 596-foot marine okay. research vessel, the largest and heaviest ship ever made. The lion's share is the biggest or greatest part of something. Right, but how we don't actually know how much that is. It comes from the Lions of Lannister. No, it doesn't. It does. No, it fucking doesn't. Yeah, it the does. lion's share was a thing long before Game of Thrones ever existed. In Westeros, it came from the Lannisters. All right, shut, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this research vessel is going to be. Pro god, look what the fuck you made me do. I got it. 
English. Take two. Action. It's going to be dedicated towards research as well as cleaning up the ocean. It's going to be able to bring in something. What Was it a year? Is it a day? It's like five tons of plastic a year. A day. Wait, where is it? I can't find it. Damn it. Shit. I had a pleasant conversation with a homeless man today about him going around collecting um, plastic bottles and glass bottles in, like, Santa Monica and trading them in for, like, $50. You you and these... I guess that was a somewhat related uh, tangent, but... Yeah, plastic bottles. It still felt random as hell. Recycling. What the... Uh, da, 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 da. Five tons of plastic a day is what it's going to be able to clean up. Man, if I could turn in five tons of plastic a day for five dollars a bottle, or not five dollars, five cents a bottle, I'd be a rich man. Well, if I was a rich man, no, 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 no. If I was a rich man. <laughs> oh man, it makes me want to break out in the, in the Gwen Stefani version. Yeah, it does. I almost, I almost called her Gwen Stacy just for a second there. I'd build one long staircase and one even longer coming down and one more leading nowhere just for show. I'd have all the money in the world if I was a wealthy girl. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so my brain's... Don't gonna... even test me. Impress me. My cash flow would never, ever end. You got See, more? I'd have all the money in the world <laughs> if, if I, I was, was a wealthy, wealthy girl. girl. So much singing this episode. What the hell? Na, 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Trump Russia investigation is now a criminal investigation. This was submitted by M. Richards to our politics. Uh, in regards to the singing, I think we should have a two hundred dollar donation uh, bit where we do an entire episode musically. Okay, that sounds real difficult, but we'll fucking try. Anyway, oh, yeah. so um, Senator Lindsey O. Graham, Republican from South Carolina, um, has said that the special counsel's investigation into possible collusion between the Trump campaign and Russian officials is now considered a criminal investigation, and that Congress may now have to lessen access to information to the White House moving forward. We have no information past that. We don't know what it is, what they found, what they know, what they're going to tell us. All we know is is now being considered a criminal investigation. Ooh. Come on, guys. He's the most he's, he's the most bullied politician in history. Oh my fucking god. That goddamn line. No politician in history has ever been more treat more mistreated or poorly whatever the fuck he said than me. I'm sorry. Have you heard of the Ides of March? I or or just JFK? Motherfucker got or shot in the face. Abraham Lincoln? Motherfucker got shot in the back of the head. Hard drinking Lincoln. Was he did he drink a lot? I don't actually know. I don't know. It was a it was a bit in uh oh, was it Robot Chicken? I don't remember where Hard Drinking Lincoln came from. Uh Sherry in the chat room asks, what are you guys on with all the singing? Happiness? I don't know. Tomorrow's Friday. Nathan's actually not sleepy for once. Yeah, I'm actually awake. That that's hard, probably what it is more than hard drinking anything. Lincoln was a, a Mondo Media thing. Mondo Media also does Happy Tree Friends. I I don't know what any of those things are. And dick figures. I know what that is, unfortunately. How do you not know what Happy Tree Friends is, but know what dick figures is? You Happy know what? Tree Friends was on G4 TV. That's fucking nice. Two. Rocker Chris Cornell has died at age fifty-two. This was submitted by E Intoxicated to our music. And what this doesn't tell you is that he hung himself in his hotel room at the age of 52. Uh, oh. If you don't know who Chris Cornell is, he is the lead vocalist for Soundgarden and Audio Slave. Um, he hung himself in his Detroit hotel room mere hours after a performance. No one really at this time knows why. That's real, real hard, man. At the same time, though, most of the time we we don't really know why um, 
people kill themselves. I mean, sometimes there is some indication, you know, they were having a really hard time or something like that. But a lot of the time, people don't see it. They don't suspect it because, I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's not something that's easily just been, like... If there were more signs towards it, people would do more to prevent it. But there aren't always signs. There aren't. Sometimes there are signs and people ignore it, too. And that's a very definite problem. It's true. So, but... Either way, um, shitty. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I there's nothing else to say that it just it just sucks. I mean, I, I have lost friends to suicide, and I don't like it. I always wish that there was something more I could have done, but you also have to realize that sometimes there just isn't. I lost an ex girlfriend to potential suicide. Damn. We're not sure if it was suicide or not. Damn. She was, uh, she, she had a blood alcohol content of like 0.2. Oh, that's a lot. Went to the top of a, uh, of a building to look at the, the sky theoretically. And fell and off. And she, she either fell because she was too intoxicated or she committed suicide. We're not sure. Which could have also been a result of the intoxication. Correct. I, alcohol sucks, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it dude well okay i kind of get it gin's great gin's delicious i don't think i've ever had gin it's really really bitter you wouldn't like it i don't know maybe maybe if we mixed it with sprite and made it a little bit more subtle sure i don't know we can try it sometime yeah i got a third story balcony we can uh oh <laughs> dude <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> that was You all right? Boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo. I shouldn't be laughing at that. But... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> One. McCain, I'd throw the Turkish ambassador out over violence in D.C. This is submitted by Charlie Darwin, too, to Our World News. All right, who's ready to go to war? Show of hands. I, gin kind of does taste like pine salt. Um, I would not like to go to war, but yeah, this guy's a being a fucking dickhead. Did you see the video uh, earlier that was posted? Um, it what, was, of, Tur saw... of Turkey's goddamn response? No, it, not that. Uh, it was um, it was video of of what happened of the people beating the protesters. Yeah, I've seen it. It looked um, like something out of a goddamn movie. I, I was reading some of the comments, and there's like people noticing that like the the bald headed guy looked into the the car and then kind of like shook his head and then went and, and started beating people up. So like, there's like this conspiracy theory that that Erdogan was totally like oh fuck those guys up well Republican senator from senator from Arizona John McCain he is calling for the Turkish ambassador to be thrown out of the United States um, as a signal to show how there is no excuse for this thuggish behavior and that this is the United States of America that we do not do that stuff here and that we do not accept we do not take kindly or accept excuses for this type of behavior you know, I, I I can agree with this. This is fucked up behavior. I mean, fuck political uh, or not political uh, diplomatic immunity in this situation. Actually, no, the people who they, who did they, the beating, they don't have diplomatic immunity. There you go. Yeah, they don't yeah. have diplomatic immunity. They were just being fucking jerks. So ask to be ask them to be extradited, even though you know that they're not going to be. Well, and that's the thing is that they were also calling on the, this to be investigated immediately before those people left the country because once they leave the country real fucking difficult to do anything to them but if they're mm -hmm. still here then then you can actually charge them with something yeah and so they're wanting this looked into immediately to find out what the fuck happened and find out if this was because if it was that these turkish bodyguards just decided to beat the shit out of these protesters because that's what they do in their own country that is a very <sighs> very big criminal offense here yeah like that that is an attack on american citizens by a foreign country on, on american soil on american soil like if that is what happened turkey wasn't it at the capitol too yeah it was right outside the white house ah like if that is in fact what happened that's bad 
Yeah. Because yeah, America's got a real big stick. And then suddenly we're just like, hey, let's go help those Kurdish forces. Hey, Turkey, you've been uh, pissing off a lot of people all over the world, including your own citizens. You don't mind if we come help clean that up, do you? Yeah, sure. Well, we're going to clean you every, up. <laughs> every single bomb that we drop on them needs to have a, a, a turkey painted on it. That's fucked up, dude. Yeah, it is. It's real fucked up. Yeah, it is. I like it. Because <laughs> because America. Because America. This is what we do. Dude, can we get a sound bite? America. <gasps> Fuck, Fuck yeah. yeah. Gonna go out and save the motherfucking world. Yeah. I actually don't know any of the rest of that song. Suck my dick and lick my balls. The only other part I know of that song is like during the bridge when they're like, Apple pie, fuck yeah! Missiles, uh, fuck yeah! Fucking. Why don't we just play that right now? Machine guns, fuck yeah! And then we're like, books! Wait. <laughs> I fucking love Trey Parker and Matt Stone. They're fucking geniuses. Yeah. Either way, I. That's. It's funny because that's not even like. That's not even my favorite of their movies. No, but that movie. I think I think it's easily Orgasmo. <laughs> Both of those movies are delightfully terrible. <laughs> and I can't really count basketball. It, it, they acted in it, but I don't think it was actually theirs. All right. Well, we'll see what what uh, shakes out. I, I I will be upset if nothing happens at all. Gobble this, motherfucker. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Nathan, what'd you care about in the last twenty four hours? Uh, the humble bundle. Really? Yeah. Everyone here who loves me needs to buy the hum the humble bundle. What's in the humble bundle? Motherfucking speedrunners. <laughs> oh god damn it, you tool. <laughs> it's a it's a tiny build humble bundle, so you don't only get speedrunners. You get um you get uh there's no time to explain, which which is fucking amazing. I love that game. Oh, there it is, so the much. tiny build bundle. Okay, I was like, I'm um, not seeing it. Oh god, I don't even remember what I, else I got him. I got him. I got him right here. There's divide okay. by sheep. Yeah. Road to Ballhalla. Mm -hmm. No time to explain, mm -hmm. and speedrunners, and you get those four for paying any amount that you want. Guys, play speedrunners with me. If you pay, right now the average is $6.71, you will also get Party Hard, The Final Station, Cluster mm -hmm. Truck, Guts yeah. and Glory, and Punch Club Deluxe. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize Cluster Truck was out. Yeah. Anyway. And if you pay fifteen dollars or more, you will also get the final station, the only trade, the only trader, and Streets of Rogue early access. So my roommate bought uh, the the forty dollar one, so I got uh, I got to play the the Streets of Rogue earlier. Holy shit, that game is amazingly fun. Yeah, it's like it's like Realm of the Mad God top down like bit style combat, right? Sure. But it's kind of like it's kind of gauntlety. In a way, it's weird. So you load into the game, you choose one of like eighteen fucking classes, and and you uh, you have different starting items, and you have to go around and solve these different like puzzles essentially. So there are some you get three quests, and usually ones like retrieve a document, hack into a system, or something like that, and and uh, kill someone, right? Okay. But you can do those in different ways. Like uh, a hacker can walk up to a fridge hack the fridge and command it to run and it'll bolt across the screen breaking through fucking um, uh, walls making doorways for you to get in if you couldn't get it through a locked door. Sure. So, you know, there's some crazy cool shit you can do in it and I fucking love the game. It's super fun. You know what really needs to come to Steam? Really what? bad? What? Zombies ate my neighbors. Hell yeah, dude! Holy shit, yeah! That that game really needs to get re-released on fucking Dude, something. Dude, that game is so much fun! It's also really fucking hard. Oh, so another cool thing about that game is in later levels, uh, there's police. So if you get caught doing something bad, the police will go after you. But if you talk to the police beforehand and pay a set amount of money, usually it's like, it starts at 50, and it goes up by $5 um, uh, dollars every level. Um, but you can buy out the, uh, the police and... Until you die, the police don't attack you, and if you get in a fight, the police will help you. Dude, I never got past, like, level three. Dude, no, don't worry. Um, I'm talking about the, the rogue game. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about rogue. Zombies Ate My Neighbors, no. and I'm like, that's Zombies fucking Zombies Ate great. My Neighbors is super fun, though. I, I had a copy of it a long time ago. I don't have it now. It makes me really sad. It was something that I always played when I went to my cousin's house because they had a Super Nintendo and we didn't. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I should get a copy of that. I wonder how much they run for on eBay. I can check real quick. I got the fucking internet right here. Do it. What other SNES games do you think were, were fucking amazing? Uh, d- uh, fucking Donkey Kong Country. Donkey, whatever the fuck it was. Donkey called. Kong Country was my fucking jam. I enjoyed the shit out of that. Uh, Zombies 8. Uh, I played the shit out of Chrono Trigger, of course. As a, as a good RPG nerd does. Uh, looks like about $30 to $40 a car. Hell yeah! Do you have a Super Nintendo? Yeah, my um, uh, Draven does. I mean, I can just look up best SNES games, and I'm sure... Dude, Mega Man X was on there, wasn't it? Uh, top 25 SNES games of all time. So we got Contra 3. Oh, okay. Earthbound. Oh, God, yes. Earthworm Jim. Mm-hmm. Kirby's Dream Land. F-Zero. Yeah. Secret of Mana. Uh, Super Castlevania 4. Secret of Mana. Uh, Mortal Kombat. That was on SNES? Yep. Hmm. Cool. Uh, Final Fantasy 2, which would have been Final Fantasy 4. Uh, Yoshi's Island. Stur- yeah, I remember that game. There's a level in Yoshi's Island where you couldn't touch these weird, like, cotton balls. And if you did, Yoshi got drunk as fuck. Uh, so I'd spend the level hitting those and just running back and forth. Street Fighter 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Hell yeah, Ninja Final- Turtles 4, motherfucker. Final Fantasy 3, which would have been Final Fantasy 6. Yeah, because uh, 6 was probably the best Final Fantasy game. Uh, the original Star Fox. Yeah. Mega Man X. Yeah! Super Mario RPG. Ah, oh, seven coins, right? No, not seven coins. Um, Legend of the Seven pack? Stars. Oh, seven stars, that's it, because there's uh, the six golden coins, that was on GBA. Uh, that was, Chrono uh, Cross. Super Mario Land. Not Chrono Cross, Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger, yeah. Cross was on the, the um, Cross was on the PlayStation 1, and Crusade was an anime. Except I don't think Crusade's actually a part of that franchise. Super Metroid. Okay, uh, yeah, Super Metroid's the jam. Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario World, and uh, Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Oh, God, that's my favorite Legend of Zelda game. It's a lot of people's favorites. It makes me really sad what they did to that timeline. That's okay. No, it isn't. Two things that I cared about. One is one that a lot of other people care about a lot more than me, but it's still really fucking cool, and that is a prequel movie to The Dark Crystal is coming to Netflix. Yeah, it is. Um, The other thing, which I am going to work on getting up onto the screen right now whenever I am... Is the original Dark Crystal. We're playing it right now. No, 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 we're not. Yeah, we are. Uh, no, it's actually the new cover, the the most recent cover to Time Magazine. Um, I'm I'm dropping it into the video right now, but for those of you at home that can't see the video, it is the White House, and it is slowly turning into the freaking... It's not the Kremlin. What is it called? It is. It is. Oh, is that the Kremlin? Yep. Okay. I believe it's called the Kremlin. Um... I thought that building had a different name. No. Yep, no, it is the Kremlin. Yeah. Yeah, because they, it's in a oh fuck, what's the name of the squ- the square? It's like Red Square it or is something the red is what trend. Yeah. So yeah, it is the White House slowly turning into the Kremlin. It's a it's a very politically charged but very powerful image in regards oh, to like I I'm amazed that time did this. Like that It's like it's a, it's probably most Americans one of most Americans like biggest fears. Right. And it's it's pretty impressive. Like in terms of like the the cover, that's a pretty impressive cover for time to throw out there. So when I first saw this, I saw this as a gif where it started as just the White House and it slowly creeped across and yep. oh my god. Says shivers. Yep. So uh yeah, that's creepy and unfortunate but strangely accurate anywho um but yeah that's it all right let's get the hell out of here let's get ready for a damn good weekend are you ready for a weekend sir yeah i'm I'm ready for the weekend he's a pretty sick uh, artist you know uh i don't care for the weekend that much yeah neither do i actually okay anyway everybody um if you would like to help support us please go to patreon.com slash daily internet otherwise follow us on social media instagram facebook twitter all of those are at i read it cast myself is at schwan michael nathan is at bimenstein also go and leave us a review for the show whether it's on itunes stitcher or google play five star reviews increase our visibility substantially it's a really good way to help the show just to help us find new listeners 
Otherwise, let us know what you think, or if you have something you want us to talk about, send us an email to our inbox, which is feedback.irate at gmail.com. Call and leave us a voicemail at 508-738-2278. If you want to catch the live show, it go, we go live Monday through Thursday at 10 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Specific Daylight Time. Otherwise, everybody, that is your 290th dose of the internet. I am Michael Schwann. And I'm Nathan Wood. Don't get <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Bye.